I just got to campus. Um, today is exam week. Uh, today we have two exams, micro and um, FOM, fundamentals of medicine. And then tomorrow we have path. And then what else do we have? Wednesday we have farm and I'm whispering because I'm in the library right now. But it is 6.45. I got here so early because I rode with um, my roommate because my car is acting up and she gets to campus pretty early. Um, the exam doesn't start till 9.30 so I'm just gonna use this time to just keep reviewing for micro and probably review um, for some other things. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about the two exams today, micro and FOM. It's PATH tomorrow and FARM on Wednesday that I'm worried about. So after FOM exam is over this afternoon, I'm gonna get straight to studying for um, all the PATH that's tomorrow. camera for my vlog. <laughs> she's famous, she's famous. I'm not. <laughs> you don't want to be in it? Okay. It's time for the exam. See y'all after. So just got back to my apartment. The exams, hmm. They went all right. Um, micro was good. They posted the average right after. The class average was 88. And then FOM was, it's definitely like, Last year we took FOM and it was something that you can literally like study two nights before. Now second year that class is a little bit different. I mean, I did good, but now I know in the future I need to start studying like a little bit earlier. Yeah, but I'm just about to rest for a little bit and then get to studying um, PATH. making um smoothies and as you can see they're pretty easy to make um and i use frozen fruit of mine usually i have one in the morning or um after class when i get home okay so now that micro and um fom which is fundamentals of medicine now that those two are out the way those are supposed to be the two easiest now i can focus on um the two most difficult ones path and farm for PATH, I'm mainly worried about the the lab section. Like it's um it's a com it's combined one lecture, but one part of it is this is the stuff we did in lab, which is like histolo histology, and it's not just like um okay what is the image you're seeing. It's like um what's the diagnosis and what's the diagnosis and um like what could this lead to and like what's the pathogenesis like how did this occur. So yeah, that's another element thrown into the exam. All right, so just to give you an example, this is the kind of stuff that we look at in lab. If this image were to be on the exam, um, they could ask, you know, like what's the pathogenesis of that? And you can see these are two kidneys. This one is smaller than the other one. So this is atrophied. And this would be like renal artery atherosclerosis. Um, and then it's two questions per station. So this could be another image they'll ask like what's going on here um like what would the patient i guess look like some of the symptoms or like what could lead to this this is a fatty liver so maybe like alcohol consumption so there's 25 different images two questions per image so just the lab portion is 50 questions and then i think the multiple choice part can be uh anywhere from like 60 to 80 that's what i've been seeing like on the old practice uh practice 
exam, our lecturer gives, a, I mean, our professor gives us um, old exams from previous years. I mean, she's so good at creating new exam questions that she's just willing to give out all the old exams. So I've been through some of them and most of them are about like, uh, yeah, ranging from 60 to 80 questions. And yeah, for me, um, well, I think for a lot of people doing practice questions are very important just to see, um, you know, how the questions are going to be asked. Because I mean, you can study all day long, but if you're not really doing practice questions, you really don't know if you know the material. So for practice questions, I've been doing the old exam questions that our professor provides for, um, for us. And I've also been using another resource called um, Smash USMLE. It's um, a, like a test press prep company that gets you ready for um, step one and they have like really good um, practice questions so like I've just been doing that throughout. So people have like different methods about like how they study for um, step, when do they start studying, should they take prep courses, should they just do like independent studying and um, it's really just tailored like to your learning style. If you feel you need like a rigid structure um, maybe you should register for a prep course there's different courses out there like Kaplan, um, DIT, this one that I just mentioned, um, Smash USMLE. For me personally, I do like structure, but I don't like something that's so rigid to where it's like if you fall behind like maybe two, three, four days, then you're just completely messed up for, with the um, test prep program because that can easily happen in the midst of a busy semester. You just fall behind a few, uh, a few days and then it just kind of sets you off track. So what I look for in um, a... I guess the course is like do they provide good cue banks and um you know if they provide lectures do they just simplify it very well like do, do they can they simplify difficult topics so i've mainly been using this for um the cue bank and let me show you one thing that's unique about them is that their um their video lectures is like on a whiteboard and let me show you so you can just go to the top it says um step one videos and then um they break it down by either basic sciences or you can go to different organ systems um just go to microbiology and then this is just high yield micro you can choose any topic um that you want so they have several lectures that's covering many topics um let me see which one i'm gonna choose let's do this and so yeah, this is just a simple whiteboard lecture. They break it down real simple for you. It's not like PowerPoint lectures, black and white. It's pretty interactive, um, which is good when you're studying long days and um, massive amount of information. But again, me personally, I love their QBank. And you can choose to, um, you know get it separate you can do the full course or you can just do the QBank um, I'm making use of the QBank that they have and if I feel like I need to um, brush up on the topic the videos are available there and they also have flashcards um, you know which is good for like micro and farm so I would definitely say this is good if you're looking um, for some guidance but not too structured like they had the QBank they have um, all the lectures you need for all the different topics and you can just choose to go at the pace you want to go and they have a calendar that you can set up um, everything that you want to like plan out and map out your schedule if you want to do that they have a calendar for you and they have like an advisor that you can just go to and seek advice about step one step one prep and all that. So um, I'll leave a link below to their website and they have um, a two week trial which is, or a 15 day trial which is a, a good amount of time to test it out and see if it is for you. Alright so it is a little past um, 4 o'clock. I'm about to start on some practice questions. Um, well now I'm going to review some notes first and then do some practice questions and then look at some lab images. So I'll check back in with y'all later. <music> Hey guys, so um, it is now Tuesday night. I didn't vlog all day, but um, my PATH exam did go very well. We take the exam in two parts. So the lecture exam um, was very similar to one of the older exams that um, she gave us. The lab exam was a little more difficult. Um, some of the images we had seen before, but um, 
yeah, overall, path went well. And then um, when I got home, I went to the mechanic. I had mentioned yesterday um, my car was having issues, so I just been riding with my roommate to um, to class. Oh my gosh, car troubles are so frustrating. Um, hopefully, I get it fixed soon because she leaves the house like at 6 a.m. to get to campus and it's not about that early morning life so yeah hopefully i can get that fixed soon but thankfully i do have a roommate that i can ride with um because if not i'd probably be taking uber every day which is way too expensive to be doing that but yeah so tomorrow is um the last exam of the week i am so excited i'm so tired of studying after i'm done i'm gonna catch up on um insecure catch up on power catch up on game of thrones i'm so behind on all my shows so i just cannot wait for um tomorrow i just been looking at sketchy um videos going over some notes i'm not too worried about farm i think it should be fine and we didn't have like it was just pretty much autonomics and like the intro like pharmacokinetics pharmadynamics drug metabolism um hopefully the math won't be too difficult on it for pharmacokinetics i'm hearing like mixed things from some of the third years like about how the first exam was about the math level the difficulty of the math on there yeah so it's about eight o'clock um i'm gonna be studying for the rest of the night my exam is at 10 30 um tomorrow but i'm gonna get to campus at 6 30 so um, I'm just gonna use that time and be productive. Actually, it's been a good thing that I've been leaving that early with her these um, past couple days, like getting there so much earlier because I've been able to review so much more. And I mean, the more review, the better. I've been productive in the mornings. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow after the exam. kinetics all the math yeah that was hard but i'm just happy that exam week is over um i say it was a pretty successful um first week of exams farm man that was a lot all right i'm about to head home i'm gonna catch up on all my shows i'm gonna catch up on some sleep so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Hi guys.